Hey everybody, it's Shelby Hartman, Double Blind's co-founder and editor-in-chief, and I'm here today to talk to you about how long shrooms last. So you're about to trip on shrooms, or maybe you already are, and you're wondering, how long do these things last? The long answer is it depends on a lot of things, including dosage, the type of shrooms you take, how you take your shrooms, in a tea, lemon juice, do you eat them whole? How much did you eat that day? There's a lot of factors that contribute to how long the trip itself lasts. In addition to how long the trip itself lasts, in this video we're gonna get into how long you can store shrooms for, and we're also gonna be talking about how long the effects of shrooms last once the trip is over, something we commonly call the afterglow effect. So hang in there. Generally speaking, if you're doing shrooms the way most people are doing shrooms, this means that you are eating whole dried psilocybin mushrooms. They're likely psilocybe cubensis because this is the species that is most common on the black market simply because they're the easiest to grow. And you're probably taking around one to three and a half grams. So assuming that all those things are true, uh, you can expect the trip to last around four to six hours. Now let's talk a little bit about the timeline. As mentioned, if you're taking whole dried psilocybin mushrooms, you're taking around one to three and a half grams, and you haven't fasted that day, you've just had a, a light meal, you can expect the entire experience to last around four to six hours. The shrooms themselves are gonna kick in around 30 to 90 minutes. You're gonna be coming, the shrooms themselves are gonna kick in around 30 to 90 minutes. You're gonna be coming up on them for about two hours. You're gonna be peaking from hours like two to four, and then you're gonna be coming down from hours four to six. Sometimes, you know, shrooms can last as long as eight hours. Um, sometimes the trip, it's probably not gonna be less than four hours. Uh, but it could be four hours long. Um, but that's really sort of the general arc of the experience. People often find that the hardest part of the shroom trip experience is the come up. It's that first like 30-ish minutes when you're waiting for the experience to begin simply because you might be nervous. And it's also the first kind of couple of hours when you are acclimating to the experience. This is most often when people feel things like nausea or discomfort in their bodies. And a lot of that honestly is usually just because people are so nervous about the experience or they're kind of resisting what we call surrendering that they create a lot of narratives and unnecessary sort of like emotional resistance around the initial uh, sort of the initial arc of the experience. Uh, but once people are sort of in the peak of the experience, they often find that the trepidation, the nausea, all these other things fades. That's not always the case. Again, every single trip is different. Every single person is different. But, um, you know, if you're watching this video right now and you're like, oh my gosh, this is terrible. How long do shrooms last? When is this gonna be over? Just know that if you're in that first couple of hours of the experience that usually people do find that that is sort of the toughest part of the journey. And also know that we have a lot of resources on our website for how to help you sort of move through that experience, whether it's through focusing on your breath, meditating, changing the music. There's a lot that you can do to kind of support yourself through the arc of the entire journey. Let's talk about other modes of consumption of shrooms. As mentioned before, you know, if you're taking whole dried psilocybin mushrooms, then the experience is gonna be four to six hours. But if you are grinding up the mushrooms, then it's uh, breaking down the mushroom material for you. And so they are going to hit you faster than if you're eating the mushrooms whole. Typically, if you are soaking them in lemon juice, the experience is gonna hit within 10 to 45 minutes, and it's going to be more intense, and it's going to end at around four hours, so the actual duration of the experience itself is going to be shorter. 
if you are thinking of doing this, we have a video on lemon teching on our website, on our YouTube channel. You can lemon tech with lime and um, even red wine vinegar works as well. Um, but just I'll say here that we do not recommend lemon teching for newbies to tripping simply because the experience is said to be significantly more intense than just taking shrooms on their own. Now let's talk a little bit about how long shrooms themselves can be stored. Again, we have a, a whole video and guide on our website. You can just search uh, like how to store shrooms on Google double blind and it will come up. There's a variety of ways that you can store your mushrooms and this will impact their shelf life. So the most common way that people store their shrooms, if you're doing so properly is that they're putting whole psilocybin mushrooms that are dried into some kind of you know airtight container like a Tupperware or a mason jar and sticking a couple of silica gel packs in there as well and if you do that your shroom should last about a year before they start to lose their potency other ways that people store shrooms, you know, if you make shroom tea, you can actually stick it in the fridge and it will stay good for about a week. If you buy shroom chocolates or you make shroom chocolates, you can expect them to last in the refrigerator before they lose their potency for about a month. And if you make shroom capsules, you grind up the shrooms and you put them into little gelatin capsules, which we show you how to do in our microdosing course then um, those will last about a year. And so if you're interested in microdosing, again, I, I would recommend, so if you're interested in microdosing, I would recommend that you sign up for our class. It's amazing. We're gonna help you get the most out of the experience, but it's just to say that we do recommend that you make capsules and that you, um, you take those and you can make them in batches because they do last for about a year. This is just gonna ensure that you are staying consistent with your dose rather than just like breaking off a little piece of a mushroom, which could land you in a situation where you're accidentally tripping when you're like supposed to be taking the kids to school. Whoops. <laughs> The last way that you might consider storing your shrooms if you want them to last for a really long time, especially if you've grown shrooms or you foraged and you just have way more than you know what to do with, is you can consider making something called blue honey, which is essentially just grinding up the shrooms and layering them with honey, and they can last for a very long time that way. I don't know how long, but like multiple years at least. So the last thing you might be wondering is how long do shrooms stay in your system? As in, how long do the effects of shrooms last once the trip is over? And this is kind of a two-part question. The first part of the question is, how long are they detectable by a drug test? And we'll just say that there's not really a reason to be worried about this. If you are getting a drug test, a standard drug test, from an employer or something like that, the chances that they're testing for shrooms are extremely slim. Most employers and other sort of mainstream institutions require people to take a urinalysis and they don't test for shrooms. Um, even if they require a more extensive urinalysis than kind of the basic one that most people require, they don't look for shrooms. Even if they did, shrooms are only detectable in your urine for 24 hours. I want to put a caveat here, which is that it depends on the person. We get more into this in other videos um, and articles on our website. Yeah, it's just it, the risk isn't very high. Um, in terms of how long the psychological or spiritual effects of shrooms last, that's a completely different question. After a shroom trip, also after tripping on LSD or DMT or any of the sort of classic psychedelics, people often experience something called the quote afterglow effect. Essentially, things just feel easier and better. If you have a history of depression, oftentimes people report feeling just like happy and light in a way that they haven't and in a way that's unfamiliar to them in the sort of like days and sometimes even week or two following a psychedelic experience. That's not always the case. Everyone is different. Sometimes 
actually things get harder after a psychedelic experience. And this can be because it opens things up that are living in your unconscious that have yet to be fully processed, whether it's some kind of trauma or memory that you have yet to confront. If that's something that you're experiencing, we highly recommend that you seek support. You can do this uh, by attending a psychedelic integration circle, the San Francisco Psychedelic Society, um, the AWARE Project based in Los Angeles. Um, and even you can just search the integration circle on Facebook by Deanna Rogers and Ido Cohen offer integration circles that are not that expensive where you can go and you know, attend on Zoom and process what you're going through in community. Um, and people often report years after a psychedelic experience, years after tripping on shrooms, that it was still one of the most meaningful experiences of their life, especially if they experienced what researchers refer to as the mystical experience. So you had some kind of experience where you felt connected to something greater than yourself, some sense of unity or deep calm. The people literally like 10, 20 years later will say, this experience still is one of the most meaningful experiences of my life alongside you know, the death of a loved one or the birth of my first child. So it's, it's pretty crazy stuff. I think that pretty much covers it on how long do shrooms last. If you're interested in more content education around shrooms, whether it's dosage, preparing for your experience, how to make shroom tea, we have tons of videos on our YouTube and also free articles on our website, doubleblindmag.com. We also offer tons of classes and webinars that all go back to funding our journalism, which is you know, really the heart of what we do at Double Blind is that we're seeking to destigmatize psychedelics and raise awareness about their healing potential. So check us out and be sure to subscribe.